proudly presents Kentucky Christian University Baseball as the Cool Hit Sports Network brings you live coverage from Grayson, Kentucky. Now let's head to the field and the pregame show and Kentucky Christian University Baseball right here on Cool TV. Hello everyone, I am Rick Clark. Let me introduce you to Carlisle, Annabelle, and Zach. And as you can tell by these commercials, this family has a lot of fun. We have a great team here at Clark's. And we would love for you to join our family. Whether you're a young person looking for your first job, someone who's looking for extra work, or maybe you're ready to start a career at a growing company, we want to talk to you. To find out more and start the process, go to MyClarksPNS.com. Clark's Pub and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. River Cities Builders is a licensed general contractor specializing in commercial and industrial projects and they have a history and reputation of providing top-notch expertise through their experienced and devoted workforce. River Cities Builders also is a gas facility maintenance company offering petroleum equipment maintenance and EMV compliant upgrades for smart payment terminals and they offer 24 hours seven days a week emergency service. Call 606-473-4112 or visit River Cities buildersinc.com when you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone you're probably going to need a little help let a and a porta potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs whether on a construction site planning for an outdoor wedding or any other outdoor event a and a porta potties are here to assist you a and a porta potties also rents out storage containers office containers cooling fans, tables and chairs, a and porta potties There is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. Where does your money go? When you bank with us, your deposit becomes your neighbor's loan. A real estate agent sells a house. They get a commission. They deposit it with us. We use it to make an auto loan to one of our customers. Hometown people helping each other grow. That's what it's all about. First in People's Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC, we are the home office. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, located at 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg, Kentucky, offers fast and friendly service with a hometown feel. Check out their specialty items in person or order them online at osmondpharmacy.com. Osman Pharmacy and Grill also has daily dinner specials where you can dine in or get your order to go. Stop by or call Osmond Pharmacy and Grill today. Osmond Pharmacy and Grill, 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg. Thank you, Ukraine Shortstop from Vega Alta, Puerto Rico. No seventeen, Yard Rivera. Senior number 42, Evan Judah. 
Very well. Would you please join me in a prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. If you can picture yourself in a better job and a better life, there are thousands of openings in Kentucky right now. And with the Work Ready Kentucky Scholarship, you can prepare for many of them, tuition free. Go to Ashland Community and Technical College. This scholarship offers 100% free tuition for classes that can prepare you for a great job in healthcare, advanced manufacturing, and more in as little as 13 weeks. Get started today at WorkReadyKentucky.com. Looking for the latest archery gear? Check out Border Sporting Goods for your best selection of Hoyt and Matthews bows, as well as 10-point crossbows for the full selection of accessories for all your hunting needs. Borders also offers a full selection of shotguns and rifles with plenty of ammunition and reload supplies, along with a full selection of benchmark and case knives. Borders is your headquarters for the largest selection of Liberty gun safes in the area, no matter how big or small you need to keep your firearms safe. Before your next hunting excursion, stop by and stock up at Borders Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. Campus, but they let me back on because my dad knew the dean. Give me that gooey gooey, crispy, crunchy, mouth watery. Give me that meaty, treaty, zesty, besty, garlic, saucy. Give me that dippy, doughy, melty, topping, pepper and teeny popping. Give me that, give me that cheesy, saucy, tossy, Papa John. Give me that body, body, pepperoni, tantalizing. Give me that chocolate, chicken, sticky, sweetie, hypnotizing. Give me that dippy, drippy, drummy, ripping, papa wanging. Give me that, give me that cheesy, saucy, tossy, Papa John. Better ingredients, better pizza. Better get you some. Nam time out. Gia. When you want real, authentic Mexican menu items, you want Tres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts, and salads. A tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others. Should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Tres Hermanos Nunez, the best around. I'm April Perry, the CEO of Kentucky Farmers Bank. On average, our employees have been with Kentucky Farmers Bank for over 10 years, and that is important to you and us. We want you to know who you are dealing with. Whether you are financing a new home, buying a car, or remodeling your kitchen, Kentucky Farmers Bank is the better bank for all your needs. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for all your financial needs since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit, and Catlettsburg. KentuckyFarmersBank.com. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender.
2017 Ashland Road Greenup has been family owned and operated for over 30 years, featuring top of the line material, guaranteed installation, and absolutely no one can beat JD Flooring's price. Need to replace your current flooring in one room or the entire house? Call JD Flooring and Greenup, 606 473 0411 for a free estimate. A call can get your house ready for any occasion. You'll absolutely love your new flooring from JD Flooring. 2017 Ashland Road, Greenup. The Greenup County Public Library System is the best. Read the latest bestsellers in large print, regular print, or audio CDs. You can also check out movies or place a hold on a book on our website or call one of the library locations to place a hold. There are community meeting rooms available by reservation at all locations for clubs and organizations. And be sure to check out the Jesse Stewart Collection at the Greenup County Branch. Check them out on Facebook and Twitter. Back out here on Cool TV. 
Three batters come to the plate for CIU in the top of inning number one. All three go down. Moore did reach on a hit by pitch, but was thrown out trying to steal second. Two up for the Knights here in the bottom of inning number one. Thomason, Bevan, Rivera, Guevara, Juniper, Hollow, Marushi, Garcia, Leg. Here is the center fielder, Thomason. First pitch gets him. So, hit by pitch for Thomason. Both leadoff batters for both teams. Hit by pitch. Here comes Bevan. Threw out Mora trying to steal second there in the top of inning number one. Thomason with a decent lead over at first. Takes another step. Don't be surprised to see a throw over there. Here's the pitch. This one, good looking pitch, called strike, 0 and 1. Throw to first, not in time. Once again, not in time. Thompson's got some serious speed over there. The old one's account at the plate. From the stretch. Here's the pitch. Swung on a miss. Count goes 0-2. Bellinger on the mound for the Rams. This one's hit very high in the air. Midway in the outfield. Center fielder comes over and makes the play, and there's one away. Bevan will fly out. Here comes Rivera. One on, one out, Rivera at the plate. Throw to first. Ooh, that was close. Thompson able to get back. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Throw's going to be way off the mark. But they still got him. Thompson maybe didn't get the best jump in the world. And he's thrown out trying to steal second. The throw bounced even before it got to second. It was way off to the left. Thompson gets caught stealing. There's two away. With Rivera at the plate and a 1-0 count.
This one's fouled out of play. This one hit in the outfield for a base hit. Rivera rounds first, goes to second. The right fielder slips and falls, loses his footing. Looks like he's all right out there. But not until Rivera's in there for a double. Time we were, last time we were here, he hit one deep over the left field fence halfway up the hill. Over there towards I-64. He's got one on with two outs. Here's the pitch. This one, half swing fouled away. This one hit right to the second baseman, throw over to first, and that'll end inning number one. No runs on one hit for KCU. We'll head to the top of the second when we come back here on Cool TV. Temperatures are on the rise, and so is the bite, and Border Sporting Goods is your fishing headquarters for rods and reels from G. Luma, St. Croix, Finley, Lou, Shimano, Daiwa, and Abu Garcia. No matter what species of fish you are targeting, Borders has the perfect setup to make your next trip on the water a success. Borders has baits in every size and style with a wide selection of tackle from Berkeley, Strike King, Zoom, Z-Man, Bandit, and many more. Before hitting the water for your next fishing trip, stop by and stock up at Borders Sporting Goods, U.S. 60 West in Ashland. Kentucky Christian University is a private, nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of eastern Kentucky in Grayson. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit to campus. Back out here on Cool TV, ready to start inning number two. The only base runner that CIU got in the top half of inning number one it was a hit by pitch. It was Mora, but then he was thrown out. Trying to steal second. This one chopped foul. 0 and 1. This is outside one to one. This one a hard hit ball, golf curving foul. It's a good thing that was foul because that would have been gone if it stayed fair. Dying look at fastball outside corner. Goes down on strikes. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Spurlock. Here comes Greer.
Called strike, breaking ball, 0-1. Misses inside, one and one. That's one called strike also. One and two is the count to play with one away here in the top of inning number two. Shoot, I don't know where that one missed. Two and two. Breaking ball outside, count goes full. Swung on a miss by Greer. He goes down on strikes. Three straight strikeouts for Spurlock. Here is Prison. First pitch outside, 1-0. Lowing in the dirt. Two and oh. This one hit straight in the air behind us. This one hit over to the shortstop. Rivera throw to first, got him. No hits, no runs. We'll head to the bottom of any number two when we come back here on Cool TV. At First National Bank, we strive to make every person that walks through our doors feel like family. Because to us, you are. For over 120 years, we have lived in and served the families of Kentucky with genuine care through the good times and the bad. Come and see the difference banking with family can truly make for you at any of our seven locations or visit our website at www.fnbgrayson.com. First National Bank, member FDIC. Not only is State Senator Robin Webb proud to support and congratulate our youth in all their endeavors in and out of the classroom, but your State Senator Robin Webb is also proud to support and work for all the adults in her district. Robin Webb strives to put forth the best for youth and adults alike. Whether it's in Frankfurt or here at home in her district, know that Robin Webb puts you first in all of her decisions she makes. State Senator Robin Webb strives harder every day to make Kentucky a better place to work, live, and have fun. Back out here on Cool TV, the best sports streaming platform in Kentucky. I'd put my group of guys against anybody, anytime. Here comes Juniper, a serious power hitter here, left-handed batter. This is outside, one and oh. 
This umpire may favor Juniper a little bit more than what others would. His strike zone is very tight, and he's not giving the pitchers the outside strike. This one fouled out of play. The way Juniper swings, ideally, he wants one right about belly high or low in the strike zone. Two good looking pitches there. Juniper just fouls him away. Counts 0 and 2. This one misses way outside. One and two. Two and two. This one hits straight up the middle. It's going to get through. Juniper's going to be on with a single with no outs here in the bottom of inning number two. Here is Holo. Breaking ball. This one's hard hit down the right field line. Tracking one hop off the fence. Hollow Browns first goes to second. Juniper at third. That's where they'll stand. So a single by Juniper followed by a double by Holub. And here comes Marushi. Hit fouled. A one count to Marushi. Two on, no out. Here's the pitch. This is a hard hit ball down the left field line. Curving foul. It's a good thing for CIU because. The left fielder had no time to react. Very hard hit line drive. Just Kurt's foul over on the left field line. It was scored Juniper and Holo for sure. As it stands, 0-2. Garcia sits on deck, followed by leg. Breaking ball. Oh, called strike three. Kind of a late strike three call. Rushi goes down on strikes, and here is Garcia. This one chopped foul. Oh, one hard hit over to the second baseman who bobbles it. It hops over his glove and goes into the outfield. One run scores, two run scores. It's two nothing. Knights lead. That'll be an error on CIU. A costly one as two runs come across for KCU. And here is the leg with one on and one out. Kind of bobbled it just for a second and ended up hopping all the way over his glove. About three or four feet into the outfield. 
Just enough for Holub to score from second and Juniper to score from third. This one misses inside, one and up. Here's pitch. This one fouled out of play. Throw to first, not in time. Here's pitch hit. It's going to be trouble for CIU. This one gets down. One hop, two hop, hits the wall. Leg rounds first, goes to second. Rounding third and coming home is Garcia. It's 3 0 KCU. An RBI double from leg. KCU really seen the ball well in the batter's box early. Four hits already for the Knights. Top of the lineup for the Knights, Thomason at the plate. Hit my pitches last time. Squaring the buzz, Thomason popped up in the air. Back behind the catcher, 0-1. Second, not in time. Breaking ball called strike. Counts zero and two. A second, not in time. We've seen that a couple of times. The last time KCU was in action here, but the throws went way off to the right and ended up hurting the Knights in a couple of different situations. This one hit straight to the narrow, just a small blooper, short stop. I thought for a second the shortstop made the play, but it must have bounced and landed right in the glove of the second baseman, so everyone will stay safe. That'll go down as an infield single for Thomason. Here comes Bevan. He flew out his last time. Still only one away. The bottom half of inning number two. Three nothing, Knights lead, trying to add to it. Here's the pitch, squaring the butt is Bevan. And I don't know if that got his hands or pitch kind of rode inside and Bevan was squared to butt.
This one low and in the dirt. Heading off to third is leg, and he'll be there easily. Thomason still over at first, though. So runners on the corners with them at the plate and a 1 1 count. Here's a pitch, and it, I think it got Bevan in the forearm. He was squared the bunt, and the throw went right at him. I think he's going to be all right. Man, that hurt. We're going to pinch a runner no matter what. And it looks like we might get a pitching change. While we sort everything out, trainer goes and looks at Bevan and pitching change. We'll take a break. We'll be back on Cool TV. J.D. Flooring 2017 Ashland Road Greenup has been family owned and operated for over 30 years, featuring top of the line material, guaranteed installation, and absolutely no one can beat J.D. Flooring's price. Need to replace your current flooring in one room or the entire house? Call J.D. Flooring and Greenup. 606-473-0411 for a free estimate. A call that can get your house ready for any occasion. You'll absolutely love your new flooring from J.D. Flooring, 2017 Ashland Road, Greenup. The Greenup County Public Library System is the best. Read the latest bestsellers in large print, regular print, or audio CDs. You can also check out movies or place a hold on a book on our website or call one of the library locations to place a hold. There are community meeting rooms available by reservation at all locations for clubs and organizations. And be sure to check out the Jesse Stewart Collection at the Greenup County Branch. Check them out on Facebook and Twitter. Welcome back to Cool TV. We have a pitching change that we need to announce. It looks like, as I pull up my roster here, Number 14, Darius Dunn Hatchet will take the relief duty for Columbia International. Out of Columbia, South Carolina, beautiful city down there. Been there several times. Also home to the South Carolina Gamecocks. Been to williams Bryce Stadium a couple times. So kind of a tough situation here for Dunn Hatchet. You only got one away. The bases are loaded. You're facing Rivera, who doubled his last time at bat. This one's fouled out of play. A double here with the speed you got on the bases. Might clear him. It at least scores two. KCU's already put three across in the bottom of inning number two. Here's the pitch. This one's fouled out of play quickly, 0-2 to Rivera. Misses. This one misses. Two and two.
This one's a hard hit ball. Center fielder tracking, hit right to him. It should score one. Runner tags from third, goes home. Thomason will go to third. And now it's 4 nothing Knights on an RBI sacrifice fly by Rivera. Here is Devara. Runners on the corners, two away. Devara flew out his last time. This one fouled out of play. Swung on and missed on a pitch high and inside. Counts 0 and 2. And they got him in a rundown. Now they're just going to let him have it. So now Casey Ewell have runners on second and third. This one misses way high. It's one and two. The base hit here, it makes it six nothing. You're in trouble if you're CIU. This one fouled out of play. one off the handle, fouled away. This is a big field, 400 feet center. Left field, 330. Right field is two, 325. This one misses, counts two and two. I think he went. Sure did. That'll be the final out of the inning, but not after. KCU puts four across. It's four another night's lead over CIU. We'll head to the top of inning number three when we come back here on Cool TV. But it's too early to get up, Uncle Rick. But I brought you a fresh cup of coffee from Clark's Pump and Shop. I'm up. All good mornings start at Clark's Pump and Shop. Plus, get five cents off per gallon of gas when you use the code from the app. Clark's, Clark's Pump, Pump and Shop. Shop. Return, Return, refresh, refuel. refuel. JSB Industrial Solutions, Inc. is owned and managed by Shane Wallingford to be a solutions provider for manufacturers tailoring to their specialized needs. It was created with the vision that good communication among all parties will provide the best answer to the problem. From ball mills used in pulverization to custom design of equipment or components, JSB Industrial Solutions, Inc. will gladly work with clients to resolve the issues that are prevalent. Their vision is to make your project their successful business. JSB Industrial Solutions, Tollsboro, Kentucky. So Mel Donado will be at the plate. This one chopped. The first baseman, Marushi, makes a stop. Throw to the pitcher. It's Furlock who's covering. He touches first and one away. One pitch, one out. 
And here comes Hammonds. Smith waits on deck and then top of the lineup, Mora, who was hit by a pitch. This is one and up. Inside, two and up. Three and zero. This one, four straight pitches, four balls. Hammonds grabs first base via a walk, and here comes Smith. This is high and inside, one and up. Start on first, no outs. One oh. This one misses, so six straight pitches, six balls, and we're gonna get a time called by the catcher. Bevin's gonna walk out and talk to Spurlock. This one misses. Two and out. This one called strike. Three and one. So misses high now. Back to back walks for the Rams. They'll have two on with no out. Top of the lineup for CIU. Morrow will come to play. Hit by pitches last time. This one hit right to the third baseman. Throw to second for one, throw to first for two. KCU turns the double play. It's four nothing, Knights lead. We'll have the ball in inning number three when we come back here on Cool TV. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, located at 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg, Kentucky, offers fast and friendly service with a hometown feel. Check out their specialty items in person or order them online at osmondpharmacy.com. Osmond Pharmacy and Grill also has daily dinner specials where you can dine in or get your order to go. Stop by or call Osmond Pharmacy and Grill today. Osmond Pharmacy and Grill, 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg. When you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, 
cooling fans, tables and chairs, a and porta potties. There is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. Back out here on Cool TV, ready to start bottom half of inning number three. CIU still hitless. It's 4 nothing. Knights lead. Do up this half of the inning. Juniper singled. All of who doubled and Marushi. Just a hard hit ball right to the second baseman. One hop, throw the first one away. Juniper grounds out. Here comes Holub. Doubled his last time. Side one and oh. Breaking ball way up in the zone. Two and oh. That's a foul out of play. Two and one. Fouled out of play also. Two and two's a cow. So they hard hit ball right to the shortstop. He'll field a throw to first, two away. Here comes Marushi. Struck out his last time. Strike, 0 and 1. Foul out of play quickly, 0 and 2 to Marushi. play also. Hard hit strip the middle. Tough play by the second baseman. Throw to first is going to take the first baseman way off the bag. So momentarily you thought the pitcher was going to get it. Then the second baseman comes all the way over. Fields it and the throw is way off the mark. So now it's an air. This was blooped up in the air into right center field, and the right fielder runs it down. That'll end. Inning number three. No runs for either team in inning number three. We'll head to the top of the fourth when we come back here on Cool TV. 
When you want real, authentic Mexican menu items, you want Tres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts, and salads, a tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Tres Hermanos Nunez, the best around. I got kicked off campus, but they let me back on because my dad knew the dean. Give me that gooey, gooey, crispy, crunchy, mouth watering. Give me that meaty, treaty, zesty, bestie, garlic, salsa. Give me that dippy, doughy, melty, topping, pepperoncini, popping. Give me that, give me that cheesy, saucy, tossy, Papa John. Give me that bodie, bodie, pepperoni, tantalizing. Give me that chocolate, chippy, sticky, sweetie, hypnotizing. Give me that dippy, drippy, drummy, ripping, papa, wanging. Give me that, give me that cheesy, saucy, tossy, Papa John. Better ingredients, better pizza, better get you some. Nam time out. Yeah. Welcome back to Kentucky Christian University here on a Saturday, mid to late April. So Lopez will come to play. Peeler sits on deck. Lopez flew out his last time, trailing four nothing. Still held hitless. Here we are in inning number four. Breaking ball in there. I don't know where that one missed at. Hmm. Counts 1-0. Oh. It's a strike everywhere. Now the count's 1-1. One one. This is outside, two and one. So all out of missed, two and two. Our account goes full. Strike three called. Lopez can be mad, but he's. On the, when he swung, that should have been strike three then. So here comes Peeler, who struck out his last time. This one misses just a tad outside. You want to know? Inside part of the plate, oh, one and one. It's all strike also. CIU seems really concerned about what the umpire is going to call it a strike or a ball, but these are strikes and Swung on and fouled away. This one outside, two and two.
outside again. Full count. Strike three called on the outside part of the plate. And there's two away. Donna at the plate now. He struck out his last time. This one inside, 1-0. One oh. Breaking ball in there for strike. 1-1. One one. Two one. Breaking ball. It's fouled away. I don't think he can take that pitch again. Count goes full. This one's hit up in the air. Thomason tracking, left fielder tracking. This one is out of here. Opposite field home run. So it's 4-1 now. I want to know. In there for strike, one on one. Breaking ball, swung on a miss, count goes one and two. That was CIU's first hit of the day. What a one was, opposite field home run. This one's in the dirt. Two and two. Count goes full. This one's hit right to Rivera over at the shortstop. Throw to first to Marushi, and that'll end the top half of inning number four. Not after CIU puts one across and a solo shot up to opposite field. 4-1, KCU leads. We head to the bottom of inning number four when we come back here on Cool TV. 
Primary Plus is celebrating 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With over 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and our patients. The Primary Plus name means primary care plus so much more. Offering extended services such as women's health, pediatrics, dental, counseling, diabetes management, infusion services, and on-site pharmacy that offers free delivery. Primary Plus believes in connecting health care for you and your family and is always welcoming new patients. Learn more at primaryplus.net. If you can picture yourself in a better job and a better life, there are thousands of openings in Kentucky right now. And with the Work Ready Kentucky Scholarship, you can prepare for many of them tuition free. Go to Ashland Community and Technical College. This scholarship offers 100% free tuition for classes that can prepare you for a great job in healthcare, advanced manufacturing, and more in as little as 13 weeks. Get started today at WorkReadyKentucky.com. Back out here on Cool TV. Four to one, KCU leads. Two up here for the Knights. It looks like this will be Garcia or Leg. Leg. One call strike. Oh, and one. This one gets leg. So he doubled his first time, hit by a pitch his second. And top the lineup for KCU, third time today. Thomason has a single, and he was hit by a pitch. One and oh, one on, no outs. This one called strike. This is inside two and one. This one blooped up the middle. It's going to get into the outfield in there for another base hit for Thomason. So back to back singles for Thomason. Here comes Bevan. He was hit by a pitch. His last at bat did fly out back in the first, but they hit by a pitch right on the forearm of his left arm. This one misses outside, throw down a second, dangerous. I believe it actually hit leg and ricocheted over back towards the second baseman. Harris hits on deck. Squaring a bunt. What are they going to call here? What's the call? Because the umpire, home plate umpire said dead ball. He No, he called time. No, it's the home plate umpire's call. And he, he, he put both hands up. But if it hit the bat, it should be a fair ball. Oh, 
home plate umpire kind of put his hands up like it had been a hit by a pitch, but I think they actually hit the handle of the bat. So now the umpires are going to get together here and kind of discuss what the call is. call for the manager to come out and talk and uh, it looks like that they're going to call this a foul ball a dead ball yeah I agree I think it's either a foul ball or a hit batter so all indications looks like Bevan will still be at the plate that will be counted as a foul ball which is probably not the correct call. But when home plate umpire put his hands up and said dead ball, a lot of the base runners kind of froze in place, so it's hard to get the force out for two different runners. It's a – because I do think the home plate umpire thought it was a hit by pitch. Still don't have any clarification. Yeah, one on one's the count. No, wait a minute now. Yeah, here comes Bevan to the plate with a one one count. Still no outs. Runners on first and second. Squaring to Bunt. Bunt laid down, caught by the pitcher. And here's Rivera. RBI sacrifice fly his last time, doubled in the first. Foul back. This one hit up in the air, curving in the foul territory. First baseman trying to get to it, can't do it. This one hits straight up the middle. It's going to get through. Rounding third and coming home. His leg. Thompson goes to third. It'll be an RBI single for Rivera. Here's Guevara with runners on the corners. Only one away. 5-1 KCU leads are in the bottom of the fourth. It's game one. It's like game only seven innings. This one will be a full nine. Throw to first, not in time. This one 
foul out of play as Rivera took off for second. Ooh, tough strike call there. This is way outside. 0-2 oh is the count. This one hit straight up in the air, a mile in the air, in the shallow left field. Shortstop underneath it, lost it in the air, everybody's safe. They're going to get the force out at second, but one run will score, and that's Thomason. And now it's six to one, KCU. Juniper at the plate now, singled back in inning number two, grounded out his last time. This one misses. Excuse me, singled back in inning number one. This one called strike. One and one. Strike zone's getting a little bit bigger. This one's a hard hit ball, and I'm telling you, this is 500 feet in the air. Finally coming down, second baseman makes the play. There's two away. No, excuse me, that'll end this inning. KCU puts two more across, 6-1, to one, Knights lead over the Rams. We'll take a break. When we come back, we're going to bring on some on-field audio here on Cool TV. I'm April Perry, the CEO of Kentucky Farmers Bank. On average, our employees have been with Kentucky Farmers Bank for over 10 years, and that is important to you and us. We want you to know who you are dealing with. Whether you are financing a new home, buying a car, or remodeling your kitchen, Kentucky Farmers Bank is the better bank for all your needs. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for all your financial needs since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit, and Catlettsburg. KentuckyFarmersBank.com, member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, look no more. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care, 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery, and drive through service for prescriptions. Stultz Pharmacy continues to fill all of your expectations. They carry a nice selection of gift items. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy.
With one away, one out, Spurlock has been phenomenal today so far for the Knights. This one called strike, one on one. One on, one out. Just miss it outside, two and one. Call strike, two and two. Fouled away. This one ripped down the third baseline foul. Inside, full count. Ball gets past Bevan, but that's ball four. So Hammonds will be on with a walk. Looks like he's going to get a pinch hitter. This will be. Gonzalez. Mound visit here to kind of calm Spurlock down just a little bit. They'll be two on with one out. One misses low. One and oh. Another low one, two and oh. This 
one inside, 3-0. This one inside also. So now the bases will be loaded. Some activity going on over in that KCU bullpen. And here is Moore on top of the lineup. Hit by a pitch, grounded out his last time. This one called strike, going one. Swung on a missed, 0 and 2. This is low and inside, one and two. This one chopped foul. Foul straight back. We'll do it again. One and two, one away. Bases are loaded for CIU, trailing six to one. This one is Dart Bevin does a really good job of using that chest protector to keep that one right in front of him. Swung on a miss. Moore goes down, strikes. There's two away. Here comes Lopez. Flew out, struck out. 0 for 2 on the day. Called strike, 0 and 1. And this is outside, 1 and 1. Breaking ball, misses, two and one. On inside, three and one.
This one, a line drive just over the reach of Rivera. One run scores, and that's it. Good job by the outfield getting it in. So not a whole lot of harm done. It's now 6-2 to two now. So it'll go down as an RBI single for Lopez. And here comes Peeler. 0 for 2, two strikeouts. Bases will be loaded again. Two away. This is outside, 1-0. Oh. Good looking pitch there, 1-1. One oh one. Side part of the plate. Two and one. So this is also just inside three and one. This one misses outside and a walk in a run. And we're going to get a pitching change. It's now 6 to 3. Casey leads over CIU. All intentions. It seems like there's going to be a change. And there will be. So while they could do the pitching change, a new pitcher comes in and gets warmed up. We'll take a break. We'll be back on Cool TV. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, located at 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg, Kentucky, offers fast and friendly service with a hometown feel. Check out their specialty items in person or order them online at osmondpharmacy.com. Osman Pharmacy and Grill also has daily dinner specials where you can dine in or get your order to go. Stop by or call Osmond Pharmacy and Grill today. Osmond Pharmacy and Grill, 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg. When you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables, and chairs. a and Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. Back out here on Cool TV, Matos in the pitch in relief for Sparlock, who did a really good job. Only give up two hits. Translated to three runs, though. Beautiful sunny sky. Temperature really don't reflect the weather, though. It's upper 50s, lower 60s. It's right around 61, 62 degrees. Of course, there's a lot going on around the area. Of course, you've got baseball here at KCU. Baseball going on around the area. And then Rock on the Country, just right up the road at the Boyd County Fairgrounds on Old Route 60, which has got some big-time names up there, including Kid Rock and Miranda Lambert, and just a few to name. But Jacob, you know what I'm going to do after today's games? I'm going to stop over here at the food fair in Grayson. And I'm going to get uh, some ground chuck and I'm going to make a pot of chili. Last pot of chili of the spring slash summer. Good looking pitch there. Whew. Not sure where that one missed. That's 1 0. There's a crowd and 
KCU's bench getting a little uneasy over here. Swung on and missed. One on one. Then we can pitch there. This one catches the outside part of the plate. One and two. There is two away. KCU sits with a 6 3 lead. Bases are loaded, though, for CIU. Bound away. Chopped foul. This one pops straight in the air. Into right field, right fielder makes the play. And that ends the top of the fifth, but CIU is able to get two more across. They've cut that KC lead in half. Six to three, Knights lead. We'll be back on Cool Hits 105.7. Temperatures are on the rise, and so is the bite. And Border Sporting Goods is your fishing headquarters for rods and reels from G. Luma, St. Croix, Finley, Lou, Shimano, Daiwa, and Abu Garcia. No matter what species of fish you are targeting, Borders has the perfect setup to make your next trip on the water a success. Borders has baits in every size and style, with a wide selection of tackle from Berkeley, Strike King, Zoom, Z-Man, Bandit, and many more. Before hitting the water for your next fishing trip, stop by and stock up at Border Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. River Cities Builders is a licensed general contractor specializing in commercial and industrial projects, and they have a history and reputation of providing top-notch expertise through their experienced and devoted workforce. River Cities Builders also is a gas facility maintenance company offering petroleum equipment maintenance and EMV compliant upgrades for smart payment terminals, and they offer 24 hours, seven days a week emergency service. Call 606-473-4112 or visit River Cities Builders buildersinc.com Back out here on Cool TV, ready to start at the bottom of inning number five. So Hola will go to the plate. Had a double back in his first attempt. Grounded out last time. This one's hard hit. In between right field and left, excuse me, center field and right field. Hola Brown's first goes to second. So second double of the day for Holub. Here comes Marushi. He's got a runner in scoring position. Way to start the inning if you're KCU. Tonight, first Fouled out of play. Well, maybe not out of play. First baseman will have an attempt at it, and it barely goes over the bench of uh, CIU. Ball kind of just died in the air. I thought that was going to be way out of play. Straight back, kind of waking up the fans here by an old plate. The 
this one. Found out of play also. This one hits straight up the middle. Marushi over the head of the right fielder. Rounding third and coming home is Cody Holub. Marushi's in there with a stand-up double, RBI double. And here comes Mr. Garcia. This is high. One and oh. Hard hit ball over the shortstop. Who can't make the play? Garcia will reach on an air. Took like an odd hop. And now KCU has runners on the corners, still no outs. Here comes Leg, who had a big double his first at bat. Hit by a pitch his second. Looks like Bernard is gonna run for Marushi at second. So, excuse me, runners on first and second. Leg is at the plate. Way inside, one and oh. This one popped up in the air in the center field. Center fielder's underneath it, right in the middle of that sun. And the runners will stay put, just one away. <laughs> so he has flown out, Justin Legg. And here is Thomason, who I tell you what, Thomason has played a great game thus far. Did get hit by a pitch his very first at bat of the game. But since then, two singles. This will be his fourth plate appearance. Ten hits on the day for KCU. I think that's important to note. It's reflecting on the scoreboard with a 7-3 lead. Runners on first and second. One away, Thomason at the plate. Sure like to have another one of those singles. Squaring a bunt. This one's high and inside, 1-0. And, oh. and second time today, Thomason is hit by a pitch. And here comes Bevan, who has also been hit by a pitch. And it looks like we're going to get a pitch hitter. It looks like Mr. Waltz is going to step in. Right-handed batter. Now we're going to get time called by the officials. One away, bases loaded. What a spot for Waltz. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. 0-1. This one found out of play. <laughs> Tipped foul.
This one fouled off the catcher's mask. You can't play baseball and be a catcher and be uh, not extremely tough. And every catcher here in NAI, it's very tough. Misses outside, one and two. Chopped out of play. This one hit right to the second baseman, flipped to second for one, throw to first for two. So CIU turns the double play, but not after KCU adds one more. The lead goes back to four. Seven to three, Knights lead. Over CIU. We'll head to the top of the six when we come back here on Cool TV. JD Flooring 2017 Ashland Road Greenup has been family owned and operated for over 30 years, featuring top of the line material, guaranteed installation, and absolutely no one can beat JD Flooring's price. Need to replace your current flooring in one room or the entire house? Call JD Flooring and Greenup 606 473 0411 for a free estimate. A call that can get your house ready for any occasion. You'll absolutely love your new flooring from J.D. Flooring, 2017 Ashland Road, Greenup. The Greenup County Public Library System is the best. Read the latest bestsellers in large print, regular print, or audio CDs. You can also check out movies or place a hold on a book on our website or call one of the library locations to place a hold. There are community meeting rooms available by reservation at all locations for clubs and organizations. And be sure to check out the Jesse Stewart Collection at the Greenup County Branch. Check them out on Facebook and Twitter. TV, we are discussing my producer's diet. I know that's kind of a little off topic, though. But, uh, of course, Jacob Hankins, who is the producer here, a young kid, and uh, doesn't like Sam and Patty's, doesn't like – chili and I asked him what his diet consists of and chicken tenders chicken nuggets what else did you say pizza, pizza and any type of seafood but doesn't like salmon I just don't get it you've never had salmon patties holy cow that's like a count so and two that's like a tradition here in eastern Kentucky salmon patties and fried taters my goodness. This one misses. One and two. Boo, tough pitch there. He's not going to be able to take that one again, I don't think. Two and two. At the plate is Greer. Chopped foul. And this went off the leg or maybe the foot of Greer. Swung on a miss. What a pitch there. And there's one away here at the top of inning number six. Pridgend. Did ground out his last time. Foul away. What about roast? Eat that. My goodness. This one fouled out of play. You don't eat a lot of sweets, do you? Oh, two inside. 
One and two. Two and two now. Count goes full now. Hmm. That one must have just missed inside. So now we'll see how you'll have a runner on via a walk. Maldonado will take the plate. Grounded out his first time, walked the second time. 0 for 1 on the day. He'll have a runner on with one out, trailing 7 to 3. This one called strike 0 and 1. It's one and one. One and two with one away. Runner on first for CIU. This is a nine inning game. I think that's important to note. Not the typical seven if there's a double header. Sign two and two. Swung on a missed. He'll go down on strikes. And here comes Hammonds, who's been walked twice today. Shot foul, one and one on the count. <laughs> one and two now. This one hit on the end of the bat. Second baseman diving, can't make the play. It lands in the outfield right to the right fielder. and It'll go down as a single for Hammonds. So here comes Gonzalez. Walked his last time. Two on, two out. Mora sits on deck, which is the top of the lineup for CIU. 
And this is how Sam want to know. Two and out. Looking pitch there, two and one. Swan and a miss, two and two now. Big pitch right here. Was found way out of play. That one found out of play. is inside. Yeah. So misses outside. CIU will have the bases loaded now. Got a mound visit here. Bases will be loaded two away. Here is Mora. This one misses. One and oh. Breaking ball, call strike, one and one. Goes one and two, breaking ball in there for strike. Swung on and missed. They're gonna call foul ball.
Fouled away. This one golfed in the shallow left field. Tough play by the left fielder. He'll make the play. So no runs. CIU strands three. It's seven to three. KCU leads. We'll be back on Cool TV. Kentucky Christian University is a private, nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of eastern Kentucky in Grayson. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit to campus. JSB Industrial Solutions, Inc. is owned and managed by Shane Wallingford to be a solutions provider for manufacturers tailoring to their specialized needs. It was created with the vision that good communication among all parties will provide the best answer to the problem. From ball mills used in pulverization to custom design of equipment or components, JSB Industrial Solutions, Inc. will gladly work with clients to resolve the issues that are prevalent. Their vision is to make your project their successful business. JSB Industrial Solutions, Tollsboro, Kentucky. Back out here on Cool TV. We're in the bottom of the sixth of the scheduled nine innings. So Rivera will lead it off. This one called strike at one one. This one hits straight up the middle. Fielded by the second baseman. Throw over to first, one away. Here is Guevara. Oh, for three on the day. Does have a sacrifice fly, though. Oh, and one. Out away, 0 and 2. This one hits straight up the middle. Center fielder tracking, tracking. Makes the play in deep center field. Quickly, two away. Here is Juniper. Did have a single back in the first. Grounded out. This is outside, 1-0. Doing it. Three and oh now. Well, I guess he maybe called that one strike. Two and one. Two and two now. I think.
Swung on a miss. Nope. So the count should be full. So misses outside. Juniper will be on for a walk. Comes hole up two doubles on the day. Big game for him. One and oh, two away, runner on first. KCU leading still, seven to three. Two and oh now. Three and oh now. Four straight pitches and back-to-back -back walks for KCU. And here comes Marushi, who had a double RBI. RBI double, I should say. His last at bat. This one foul straight back. This is one and one. One and two now. Two away to merge. Two and two. Two, two, two away. Swung on and missed into the catcher's mitt, and that'll end inning number six. We'll head to the top of the seventh. When we come back, 7-3, KCU leads here on Cool TV. At First National Bank, we strive to make every person that walks through our doors feel like family. Because to us, you are. For over 120 years, we have lived in and served the families of Kentucky with genuine care through the good times and the bad. Come and see the difference banking with family can truly make for you at any of our seven locations or visit our website at www.fnbgrayson.com. First National Bank, member FDIC. Not only is State Senator Robin Webb proud to support and congratulate our youth in all their endeavors in and out of the classroom, but your State Senator Robin Webb is also proud to support and work for all the adults in her district. Robin Webb strives to put forth the best for youth and adults alike. Whether it's in Frankfurt or here at home in her district, know that Robin Webb puts you first in all of her decisions she makes. State Senator Robin Webb drives harder every day to make Kentucky a better place to work, live, and have fun. Back out here on Cool TV. As uh, here at Cool TV, we have multiple job titles sometimes we're broadcasters sometimes we're producer and sometimes we are insect killer in this case we had a wasp just inside the window and nothing better to kill that wasp than a uh, 
iPhone, I guess it's 15 that I have, and an OtterBox. Kind of pinned it up against the window. Seven to three, KCU leads over CIU. So Lopez will be at the plate. An RBI single is last at bat. Did strike out and fly out earlier in the game. Good looking pitch there. Oh, and one. This one chopped foul. This is low. One and two. This one foul down the third baseline. Here's the pitch. Fouled straight up in the air. It's going to be out of play. This one hit up in the air. Right fielder underneath it makes a play. And there's one away. Peeler, 0 for 2 on the day. Did walk his last time, though. This will be his fourth plate appearance. Swung on a missed. 0 and 1. One on one now. Two and two now. Three and one. Sometimes he doesn't give the strikes like he's supposed to. Tell me where that one is at. Counts full. This one misses inside, though. Peeler will be on with a walk. Here comes McDonough, and I'll tell you what, struck out his first attempt, but then made the Knights pay. Opposite field home run, his second one, then flew out his last at bat. One on, one out. Breaking ball, blooped. Throw to second, not in time. This is going to get away and grow all the way. Into foul territory, Marucci finally runs it down, but not till both runners advance from second to third. So this will go down as an air. It's only one away. Uh, 
Here is Greer. A couple strikeouts of the day. Two runners in scoring position. CIU really needs them to come through here. KCU trying to get out of this inning. This one gets past the catcher. And easily. Peeler will score. That's now seven to four. This one misses outside too, two and oh. Breaking ball, pretty pitch there. Two and one. It's one away, runner on third. KCU holds a three run lead. Only three hits for CIU on the day with four runs. Good job by Bevan blocking that one. Three one count. This one hit right to the third baseman who bobbles it, and there's going to be no play. Here, Casey, you got to get. Got to get those. So back-to-back -back errors by the Knights. And all of a sudden, CIU has cut this lead down to two. This one's a hard hit ball in the left field. Left fielder underneath it. Two away now. Here comes Maldonado. 0 for 2 on the day. Ground out, strike out, but did get a walk. His second at bat. Here's a runner on first with two away. This one called strike, 0 and 1. Good looking pitch there, 1 and 1. This one, a hard hit ball. Good job by Marushi. He's going to block it and run over to the first, tap on first, and that'll end the top half of the seventh. But not after KCU, or excuse me, CIU puts two more across. Seven to five, KCU lead. We'll be back on Cool TV. Hello, everyone. I am Rick Clark. Let me introduce you to Carlisle, Annabelle, and Zach. And as you can tell by these commercials, this family has a lot of fun. We have a great team here at Clark's. And we would love for you to join our family. Whether you're a young person looking for your first job, someone who's looking for extra work, or maybe you're ready to start a career at a growing company, we want to talk to you. To find out more and start the process, go to MyClarksPNS.com. Clark's Pub and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, located at 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg, Kentucky, offers fast and friendly service with a hometown feel. Check out their specialty items in person or order them online at osmondpharmacy.com. Osmond Pharmacy and Grill also has daily dinner specials where you can dine in or get your order to go. Stop by or call Osmond Pharmacy and Grill today. Osmond Pharmacy and Grill, 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg. Back out here on Cool TV. Ready to start the bottom half of the seventh inning. Number 
New pitcher for CIU, this is Tanner Bridges. So do up, Garcia, Leg, and then Thomason. Garcia has reached on a couple airs today. Hard hit ball, rip foul. About three foot foul down the third baseline. This is high. One and one. And this is two and one. is also three and one. Three one count. This one found out of play. This one hit right to the shortstop. Throw to first. There's one away. Here his leg double back in the, the second inning. Hit by a pitch and it's flown out. Own one. Hard hit ball, curving foul. Two and two's the count. A full count. Should 
be a walk for a leg, and it is. Here comes Thomason, top of the lineup. Thomason on the day, two for two. This will be his fifth plate appearance, though. Has been hit by a couple pitches. Only one away, leg over on first. Casey, you need some insurance runs. Oh, strike call there. I don't know about that one. Looks high out of the zone to me. 0 and 1. This one fouled out of play. This is one and two. Two and two. Popped out of way back behind the CIU dugout. This one's hard hit to the shortstop. Flick to second for one. Throw to first. Not in time. So they'll get the out at second. Some foul out of play. Bevin at the plate. He's flew out a couple of times, was hit by a pitch.
one and one. Runner goes. This is going to be a base hit, though, for Bevan. Single for Bevan. Here comes Rivera. A couple of hits on the day. Single and a double. A couple RBIs. Did ground down his last time, though. and looks like you're going to get a pitching change. While they do that, we'll take a break. We'll be back on Cool TV. When you want real, authentic Mexican menu items, you want Tres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts, and salads, a tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Tres Hermanos Nunez, the best around where does your money go when you bank with us your deposit becomes your neighbor's loan a real estate agent sells a house they get a commission they deposit it with us we use it to make an auto loan to one of our customers hometown people helping each other grow that's what it's all about first in people's bank and trust company member FDIC we are the home office Rodrigo Rodriguez in the pitch for CIU. strike. 0 and 1. Two away. KCU still leading 7 to 5. Have 11 hits on the day compared to only 3 for CIU. Runners on first and second. Here's the pitch. 1 and 1 to Rivera. Runner goes. This one slapped foul. Thomason was heading off to third from second. Kiki being a little aggressive here with her base run. I like it.
This is outside. Two and two. This one blooped, and everybody's going to be safe. Now the bases will be loaded. So I'm going to score that as an infield single. Here comes Guevara with the bases loaded. This game has kind of hit a very slow patch. We've, here it is, 2.35. Game started at noon. We're still in the seventh inning. That's two over two and a half hours. This ball's hitting the right field. One run will score. Two runs will score. So Guevara, two RBI single. down nine to five here comes juniper does have a single walked his last time did ground out earlier in the game This one misses outside, one and out. Casey okay, so with some two out magic here in the bottom and in number seven. This one's golfed in the left field. Back, back, back. One bounce to the right fielder. One run scores. And Guevara will go to third. Juniper will be on with a single, RBI single. Here comes Holub. What a day he's had at the plate. Two doubles, walked his last time, but does have a ground out. KCU has doubled up CIU now, a 10 to five game. Runners on the corner. This one misses low, one and oh. So called strike on the outside part of the plate, one and one. Two and one now. This one misses low. This one chopped foul. I believe it went off the foot or ankle of Holub. This one hit right to the shortstop. Flick the second, they'll get the force there. 
KCU puts three more across, 10 to five. They lead over CIU. We'll head to the top of the eighth when we come back here on Cool TV. Primary Plus is celebrating 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With over 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and our patients. The Primary Plus name means primary care plus so much more. Offering extended services such as women's health, pediatrics, dental, counseling, diabetes management, infusion services, and on-site pharmacy that offers free delivery. Primary Plus believes in connecting health care for you and your family and is always welcoming new patients. Learn more at primaryplus.net. If you can picture yourself in a better job and a better life, there are thousands of openings in Kentucky right now. And with the Work Ready Kentucky Scholarship, you can prepare for many of them tuition free. Go to Ashland Community and Technical College. This scholarship offers 100% free tuition for classes that can prepare you for a great job in healthcare, advanced manufacturing, and more in as little as 13 weeks. Get started today at WorkReadyKentucky.com. Back out here on Cool TV. Looks like there's a pitching change for the Knights. Let's see here. That looks to be number 45, Gus Mullins. So for CIU, here is Hammonds. Walked a couple of times, does have a single. One and one is the count. Two and one. Misses. Three and one. Foul straight back. Hard hit ball for the shortstop Rivera. Gathers it, throw to first, got him. There's one away here in the top of the eighth. Here is Gonzalez. Does have a walk on the day. So misses one and up. Two and oh now. Three and oh now.
This one calls strike three and one. One's inside. Gonzalez draws a walk. Top of the lineup for CIU. Here comes Mora. Low. One and oh. All strike one and one. <laughs> one and two now. Chop down the third baseline, curving foul. Breaking ball, foul. <laughs> Goes down on strikes is Mora. And there's two away now. Here comes Lopez, grounded out. Does have an RBI single on the day, though. I want to know. Throw down to first, not in time. Two knows to count the plate. Good looking pitch there, two and one. So Lopez will be walked, and now there'll be two on with two outs. Here's Peeler. Struck out twice, walked twice. Oh, for two on the day. This is outside, one and oh. Breaking ball, misses outside again, two and oh. All strike. Two and one. The 
This one pops straight up in the air, 100 miles in the air. Underneath it is a first baseman who makes the play. Led the bottom half of inning number eight, still 10 to five. KCU leads, we'll be back on Cool TV. Where does your money go? When you bank with us, your deposit becomes your neighbor's loan. A real estate agent sells a house. They get a commission. They deposit it with us. We use it to make an auto loan to one of our customers. Hometown people helping each other grow. That's what it's all about. First in People's Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC. We are the home office. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, look no more. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care, 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery, and drive through service for prescriptions. Stultz Pharmacy continues to fill all of your expectations. They carry a nice selection of gift items. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. Back out here on Cool TV. KCU holds a five-run lead and we will be at the plate here. Looks like we got a pitch hitter. This will be number nine, Austin Markwell. First plate appearance for him today. Here's the pitch. This is outside. One and zero. Two and zero. This one hit straight up the middle, right to the shortstop. Fields, throw to first, got him. One away. So Garcia and leg on deck. Garcia grounded out his last time. This one down out of play. play two strikes against Garcia here with one away here in the top excuse me bottom half of inning number eight 10 five KCU has 13 hits on the day this one's hit very high in the shallow left field and the left fielder comes up and makes a play Good job by him calling everybody off there's two away. The leg has a double. He's been hit by a pitch, blown out, walked today. This is inside, one and zero. One on and missed, one and one. The 
this one. Get over the third baseman. Throw to first. Got him. So CIU will have three outs to come up with at least five runs to try to extend this game one of two. They trail 10 to 5. KCU with the lead. Trying to close it out here. We'll be back on Cool TV. When you want real, authentic Mexican menu items, you want Tres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts, and salads, a tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Tres Hermanos Nunez, the best around. I'm April Perry, the CEO of Kentucky Farmers Bank. On average, our employees have been with Kentucky Farmers Bank for over 10 years, and that is important to you and us. We want you to know who you are dealing with. Whether you are financing a new home, buying a car, or remodeling your kitchen, Kentucky Farmers Bank is the better bank for all your needs. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for all your financial needs since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit, and Catlettsburg. KentuckyFarmersBank.com. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Back out here on Cool TV. Three outs remaining for CIU. The trail, 10 to 5. KCU's held them to just three hits on the day. But it has resulted in... Five runs. KCU has committed two errors also. This one calls strike. Oh and one. Chopped. Pitcher. Turns. Throws. One away. Two outs away for KCU. Here's a pitch. Strike one call. Career's at the plate. That's a couple of strikeouts reached on an air. Quickly the count goes 0-2. This is inside, one and two. Swung on a miss, Rear goes down on strikes. And here comes Pridgen. One and up. One one. Yeah, you down to their final strike now. This one in the dirt. Maybe not the umpire there. Two two. This one's a hard hit ball, curving foul. K 
Count goes full. This one misses outside, ball four. So, see how you'll have one aboard with two outs. Maldonado comes to the plate. Ground out, walk, strike out, ground out. So, 0 for 3 for him on the day. Called strike. Nope, they're going to say it got him. Huh. That, well, I thought that was a strike. There's no way. I'm going to say it got him, but it's hard to get hit by a pitch when the pitch is a strike. Yeah, I stuck his elbow out, I thought. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. Two on, two out. Here's Hammonds. This one calls strike, 0 and 1. KCU not happy about it, neither are their fans. Called strike two. This is outside, one and two. This one's hit in the air, out right field. Tracking is the right fielder, and he makes the play, and that'll end game number one. Ten to five is the final. KCU has defeated CIU. We'll be back on Cool TV. Hello, everyone. I am Rick Clark. Let me introduce you to Carlisle, Annabelle, and Zach. And as you can tell by these commercials, this family has a lot of fun. We have a great team here at Clark's. And we would love for you to join our family. Whether you're a young person looking for your first job, someone who's looking for extra work, or maybe you're ready to start a career at a growing company, we want to talk to you. To find out more and start the process, Go to MyClarksPNS.com. Clark's Pub and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Looking for the latest archery gear? Check out Border Sporting Goods for your best selection of Hoyt and Matthews bows, as well as 10-point crossbows for the full selection of accessories for all your hunting needs. Borders also offers a full selection of shotguns and rifles with plenty of ammunition and reload supplies, along with a full selection of benchmark and case knives. Borders is your headquarters for the largest selection of Liberty gun safes in the area, no matter how big or small you need to keep your firearms safe. Before your next hunting excursion, stop by and stock up at Borders Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. Once again, for the final time, KCU has defeated CIU in game one, 10 to five. We'll bring you game two in about 25 or 30 minutes here on Cool TV. Thank you for watching Kentucky Christian University Baseball on Cool TV. This broadcast of KCU Baseball has been an exclusive sports presentation of the Cool Hit Sports Network and Cool TV.